probably come to the island and check out and have a bit of a look yourself. So where are we at now? Uh, well, another big improvement, as you saw earlier on, that the GPS dialogue that came up obscured the map. This is, this, is, this is fine on a bigger display, but on a PDA, this can be a bit of a problem because not only do you want to see all the GPS information, but you actually want to be able to see all the map information as well. So what we now do is give you two presentations of the GPS. The one that Jan's got up on the screen now with the simulator is what we call the GPS status panel. And this is a translucent overlay over the map that lets you see the map underneath and the key information coming back from the GPS, the coordinates, the satellite constellation and the signal strength. So this, this allows you just to maximise the screen real estate whilst not having to move things around so you can see what's underneath. You can see what's underneath the GPS display um, at the same time. So that's pretty cool. The other dialogue that we've got there is people said, hey, well, when we want to look at GPS information, we want to see in detail. We don't want little squeaky diagrams that we can't make out on the screen. So what we have is a full-size, full-screen dialogue. Now, on the PC here, Jan can resize this dialogue to occupy as much space as she wants on her PC. You can see there's much detail. And this is pretty cool in environments like where you've got a pilot flying a plane or a helicopter. And he can't move over and you know, squeak and look at what's on the screen. He wants to maximise this thing so he's got a really good view of it. You can do that. 